Rangers will bring out their first line, which has been uh, dominant for them and prominent for them throughout the preliminary rounds and indeed the quarterfinals. Yes, it's uh, they've got some good uh, stock to draw from here. Here's the uh, Turkish uh, starting lineup and keep an eye out for the like of uh, Gosta Yilmaz with 88 points. Nederman Ulzai, she has 81 points. Now, see, Ackman has come out early. She's the tall one. And uh, stat-wise, we should see number six. No, she's not on yet. They've brought in the captain. Uh, but I suspect she'll be joined by number 13 and 14. Yeah, they're there. They're both there. So the big guns who've scored the majority of the points for them uh, are coming on. Just a few little changes at the top end. Uh, but obviously, Akbar, the coach, thinks that this is his best uh, starting lineup. Well, Cooper at Ackman, 51 points. That's pretty impressive uh, as well. And, uh, and I think uh, it's a fairly strong side. Both these sides have some pretty tall players. Uh, team average six foot two, uh, 187 for uh, for the Turkish side. But both these sides have uh, tallest players of six foot six, 197, 198. So that's very impressive indeed. And a nice little touch. From the Turkish players, I'm not sure it quite managed to make the crowd actually, but there you go. So yeah. then, Tazbajan now coming out, and they really do have the best player in the competition. Number 17, Rahamova, incredible 126 winning spikes, 11 winning serves, and uh, overall, she has a score of 152, which is massive. Uh, but can she continue today? Certainly, what we've seen. So also look out for number five, Faramova. There she just comes out. Best serve of the tournament so far. Yeah, the captain's there, Captain Kurt. You heard it right. <laughs> She's the best setter at the tournament. We were talking earlier in previous matches about and, uh, song heroes. We really don't hear so much about the setter's very important role, but she's had an excellent tournament as well. And let's not forget about the Libros, such an important role as well. And uh, that is the uh, Azerbaijani Libro there. Yeah, number 10, we just saw the glimpse also in that starting lineup, Masa, Masa Oscar. Uh, she's the big lady for Azerbaijan. She's six foot seven inches tall. She's the uh, tallest on both sides. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on her. They're expecting big things. She's played, uh, well, she's up there. She's had 58 winning points. There's Shari Yakov, the coach for Azerbaijan. And I suppose if anyone's under pressure, he is. And I think. We'll have a little surprise later with both the president and the first lady turning up for this one because they've turned up a couple of times for the Azerbaijan ladies' teams. And, uh, well, just in case they don't get to the gold medal. And I think that's going to be tough for them unless they, they really perform at their best. And I'm sure Turkey will do something about that. Both won four games and lost one in the preliminaries. And as you said earlier, 13 points to 12, top the table between them in, in pool A. For the finals, these two only dropped one set between them. Turkey beating Russia 3-1, Azerbaijan brushing the Netherlands aside and went to the Netherlands registering a set. And, uh, when Azerbaijan register their first point, just wait for the noise that's going to erupt around this Crystal Hall Stadium. Uh, Officially around 3,000 yen into this uh, very well-appointed area. But, uh, yeah, I hope they've got the roof boats on because uh, they could raise the roof here, which is great to see. This will be gone, and a little touch of the net. I'm saying no, point for Azerbaijan, maybe a challenge here. I don't know, having a think about it. Yeah, both Baramova and Rahimova had a go there. But this is uh, Matsyovska, he's back on the serve line. For uh, surname Matsyovska Agayeva, doesn't quite fit onto the jersey. I'll leave that one to you, okay. <laughs> Must David Matsyovsky. The shirt then actually is the other one. That 
over the over, but uh, they won't mind as long as uh, she scores a few points. So here's the challenge, no touch, not that I saw. Oh. Let's have a look at this again. Who's around uh, the stadium? Yeah, she tucked it right at the bottom, but I think that's okay, which is uh, what's wrong with that? So they should take the point off. Nope, it was a touch by the Turkish team. And that was really hard to decipher. Nice little dink over the net. Energy in this match already, isn't there? And, uh, energy from the crowd as Azerbaijan take the lead for the first time. A totally different start to the previous semi-final. This is, you know, full of, full of zest, as it were. They're really up for this, both teams, and this bodes well for us having a bit of a cracker here. Yeah. Maybe desperate to get a medal in this competition. Coach will be desperate as well. So a good stop by Azerbaijan. Unforced error by uh, Pasioglu there. Oh no, Pasioglu, the captain. She'll tighten up on that for sure. Nicely done, cross court. Excellent from uh, Turkey. Just showing how they showed in the pool match against uh, Azerbaijan. Lovely set as well. Just. Perfectly hung in the air. Yeah, Pasioglu again. Good, uh, good smash. And if we had the stat for it, I reckon 98% of the smashes are cross court. I'm sure someone does the have success the stat ones. For it. The uh, success ones. Certainly, do. Uh, certainly, we've seen a lot of line drives going out. This is tied up once again. Three apiece. A of, uh, conversation from the uh, sidelines. Akbas, the Turkish coach, certainly has a lot to say for himself. Oh, it's in, right in the corner. Excellent from Azerbaijan. And a misjudgment from Turkey. Yeah, that was uh, Raham over there, starting her quest uh, in this match. And it's a good one, right in the back corner. Excellent placement. She was leaning backwards, so she didn't quite get hold of it, but it was good enough. What a good response from Turkey. That's uh, the number five there, Kubra Akman. And, uh, well, 29 points so far in this tournament. If she plays like that, she'll have a whole bundle more in this match. And with six foot six, she doesn't have to jump that high. <laughs> One of the juniors, though, 20 years old. So a little pressure on her. She won't have been in this situation before. It's long. Is it? No. Could have had a touch there, I think. Might have had a touch, because yeah. I thought it was long. The flag stayed down. Let's have a look at this. Well, you've certainly yeah. got it right. It was long, but I think just off the side of the wall there. Very possibly. Certainly the wrong side for us, but the right side for the referee. Yeah. And another point for Turkey. This uh, first set is going at a quick fire pace. Took the touch. Azerbaijan back on level terms. We've seen already uh, there's not a lot of finesse in this one. It's all power at the moment. Uh, unlike the previous semi final, they've got a little technical, but this one, they've got some big guns and they're using them early. Oh, bit of luck there on the serve. Yeah. Yeah. Or can't even if they hit the net and go over. And it was hit with quite some power and just dribbled over the top of the net. Azerbaijan in the lead. And uh, the crowd starting to get excited. Oh, cracking serve. But this time, Turkey gets it off the wall. It was a good, uh, good session there for Azerbaijan. 
Colton yet. Just couldn't control it. Oh, yes. i tell you what, the uh, replay will concentrate on the uh, attacking spike, but uh, bear in mind, keep an eye on just how well Turkey are defending at the moment. They are getting a lot of balls, head at them with a lot of interest. And there you are, there's the point, but uh, some of the defensive work earlier on in that point was excellent from Turkey. Yes, certainly just as, a, just as good as the, uh, the spiking. They need both at the top level. Oh, well, there's a bit of finesse. We were talking about the lack of finesse. Spotted a gap. And, uh, Turkey take a two-point lead. That was also She looked up just at the last moment, saw big gap at the back, down the side. And uh, on the phone, just a little wanting there. Good effort, but not good enough. Sikova, there you go. She's the one who went diving after it, but uh, only half-heartedly. We've raced to our first technical timeout. Yeah, it's a much better start to this game than uh, the previous semi final. So, whiteboard is out. Our coaches certainly and, uh, fired up as well as the players. Great atmosphere here. And the PA is loud, but uh, the fans are as well. And some of the volunteers in their blue shirts have made it here. And, Somebody who's selling the Azerbaijan flag is, is making a, a, good, a, a good living yeah. uh, in this fortnight. May not be so, so good afterwards, but uh, excellent, excellent atmosphere. There are I've a few Turkish flags you can see being waved in the corner there, but uh, it's a brave rearguard action. I have not seen one old flag. They're all brand new. <laughs> Including the massive flag just outside of here. Yeah, it is huge. Fluttering over the city. Be fluttering with a bit more pride if they can manage to win here. But they ran out of touches there, and Turkey took a three point lead quickly, surprisingly. They were all tied off at six apiece just now, and that's three points. They raced out to that lead, and Azerbaijan had to cool it down just a little bit, get a little composure back, don't get drawn into the occasion, just keep your game plan. Oh, this is this raucous crowd. If they could uh, gain their team a point or two, they would do. Uh, perhaps their support will. That took a touch off the block, surely. No. Well, again, Azerbaijan players Could be a challenge. Yeah. looking around at each other. I thought there was a touch, but it's very hard to see at high speed. Again, there, it, right. given the reaction of the Libero, is there going to be a challenge? Yep, yes, there is. is. Come to the music again. Up goes the heart rate, especially of the third official and the technician in the corner, busily running to and fro the uh, pictures, rolling them backwards and for forwards. <laughs> That's the picture, big broad smile. You can see this on the big screens in this arena, but we wait and we wait. The the finger, wasn't it? There was yeah. a touch. Well, there that, you go. Uh, Forefinger in the second hand from the right. Good, good shot of the uh, webbing and the uh, binding on the fingers. Always full of injury. But uh, yes, it was a very subtle touch, but it was a touch all the same. And Azerbaijan have the point and they have the serve. And I'm over. The last one. And poor control by the, the Turks. Couldn't get it uh, back to set. Straight back and coming back in force by Azerbaijan. Back to just one point behind Turkey here. An extended serving run here. And that's in. That's an excellent serve. Bit of power, bit of dip. And then you can see why Turkey perhaps didn't quite sort that one out. It looked like it was going out. And uh, all of a sudden, to the horror, it wasn't. And right at the last moment, it just dropped in. Much to the light of. Azerbaijan, but not to Turkey. And a pass. A good serve. It's in again. again. Goodness me. But that is excellent work. This is Baranova. She is their top server, and she's continuing the form she's uh, shown in the preliminaries and quarterfinals. 
13 points up to now. We have a couple more onto that. Absolutely fabulous aces. Doesn't always have to be no touches for an ace in this sport, but uh, that certainly was the case there. Turkey feel compelled to take a timeout. Yeah, interesting, she's not one of the taller ones. She's a mere uh, 1.86 meters, as opposed to let's see, Kovac is at 1.98. Two of them at six foot seven, but she's uh, a little shorter. But she gets up and she whacks it in. Great technique. Yeah, the shortest. Uh, it's in the world, I'm, I'm pretty tall, but uh, you can tell when you're walking past a volleyball or a basketball player because you're looking up at them and men and women alike. So here she is again. We have a hat trick of aces. <laughs> no, a little bit over ambitious there. And this stadium is a little bit hushed for a while. Yeah, but she's tied it up, 10 points apiece. So that was good by Baranova. She'll be happy the way she's starting. Good defence by Turkey there. The wall was up to it. Yes, and the uh, ace server couldn't quite stick a hand out in time. Five years of age. Yeah, excellently done by it. Turkey. Kept it alive with nothing else. And second time round, couldn't do the same. It was good work for Neriman Ozoy. Just asking a little bit too much the second time round. Yeah, too much pressure. Never recovered from the first one, which was an excellent uh, smash. That's the winning point. But uh, I think it was the first one that set it up. Gives put them under the cosh, and they yeah. couldn't respond. Gives Azerbaijan enough time just to set up the perfect set and, and spike. Oh yes. Well, that is excellent blocking from Turkey. And not only because they got up there, but also because the angle of the block back across court. Yeah, but that's good on the front line here. She has been throughout the tournament, and up she goes. And you can see it's a good two-person wall there. You'll see one, two, and three people up there, but that was a good one. And uh, Babat, she goes back to serve. Ooh, nice touch. Nice touch by Captain Kurt. Is that Kurt? I wonder if Azerbaijan could boldly go where we haven't been before. <laughs> okay. We'll how, many, how many metaphors can we get we'll, in this one? We'll stop now, shall we? <laughs> Some very um, different styles of serving. Some of these women not wanting to take the big run up. Sometimes their teams suffer as a result. Don't get, quite get the power. 13-12. Turkey in this real close fort first set just ahead. Oh, that was off the head, wasn't it? Oh, showed one or two. But yeah, it's interesting. The big, um, taller athletes, they don't whack it in. It's more about placement precision, whereas the shorter stature, that's a relative term, of course, um, just drive it in. It's great to see. There we go, another one. Say early on, they're not coming in about 90 kilometers an hour, anywhere between 85 and 90, as opposed to up to 120 for the men. But this is uh, pretty damn quick. You want to get your head in the way. Rahamova getting going again. Oh, well, that's pretty clinical. That's how you silence the home crowd. Cooper Ackman has uh, been one of the leading. Turkish players. Look at the ground she made up to make sure she was there. And her play to the setter, who knew exactly where to put it. Yeah, just delayed it, fooled the, the Azerbaijans just a little bit, couldn't get to it. That was a cracker. Right on the back line again. Barrel over this time. Let's see if we're and she gets up. Did she give that a clap? Well, it took a touch, didn't it, on the way yeah. through? But I think it was going to go in, you know. It was dropping in closely and just helped it out. Definitely. Good point. Again from mid-court. It's going to go out. Yeah, that was a tremendous change of uh, plan and tactic by 
uh, Turkey. Midcourt smash gets them the point. Be happy with the two coaches. It's very tight, but uh, Turkey sticking to their guns, not intimidated by this atmosphere. I get the feeling that if they do take this first set, that's going to be a big hole to come back for, for Azerbaijan. But Azerbaijan, if they can nick this one, uh, that'll put them not in the driving seat, but in a great position to go through to the final. And certainly, the Azerbaijan audience here will do everything in their power to help them. Yes, the gold medal match. Whoever wins this will take on Poland in the uh, bronze medal match. Serbia awaits after an entertaining but uh, not as high energy match as this one. Now I think if Azerbaijan were playing Poland now, they would be well, one set up, the way we saw Poland play earlier. But of course, tomorrow or two days' time was a different matter. A little time to recover, and uh, I'm sure they'll be up for it. Whoever they play, either Turkey or Azerbaijan. Oh, they are really pumped up. There we go. I told you in the corner. A few brave yeah, yeah. Turkish fans. I say brave. All very warm between the two countries. And uh, in the posh seats, no, no uh, flags. But the odd pin in the lapel. I think that was Simon Craig, wasn't it? The head of the uh, local organisation. Must be too busy watching the, uh, the handbag being passed around. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> So the push it's actually, I think the uh, general paying public have been more comfortable seats in this auditorium, which is quite nice to see. Well, come back again by Azerbaijan, they're not letting this one go. It's a little strapping there on the shoulder, just to give that uh, little stability. It is such a physically exacting sport, isn't it? Yeah. It's long. Excellent serve. Well, an excellent comeback from Turkey. If they can weather the storm of those serves well then they are on the right track and they're two points ahead of Azerbaijan here in this first set in the semi-final look at the uh, speech he got there just saw the gap looked up you just saw a look up and uh, just dropped it in front of Messi Osoka she's not a happy bunny is she yeah. she's it's good effort well it was an excellent serve and I don't think they expected to have lost that point it's good to be angry when things don't go your way. You have to accept these things. Under the of Azerbaijan. A little mistake at the net. Uh, the Turkish front line couldn't control it. Gives it back to Azerbaijan. Just nicks it over the top here. Slides down the river. A little unlucky, but you need luck in any sport. Absolutely. No chunk if you to be successful. And the old expression, the more I practice, the luckier I get. It holds true as well. 18 16 in this first set. So not quite the same success for Byram over that time. It's, uh, of course, she said just as well, but obviously the Turks have uh, found the range of that. They know, well, they think they know where she's going to put it, and certainly that was the case that time. Again from the back court. That's a good move. It's all gone very quiet around here. Azerbaijan just no answer to it at the moment. This is that yeah, straight down the middle. And uh, the ball's gone up and come back down by that stage. Byron Mover didn't even move. I think she saw it. And time out. I suspect this is by the Azerbaijan coach. But, uh, unless it's a technical one. Not really a technical given the speed the uh, moppers. Oh, no, there we go. Azerbaijan. First time out. This guy can get excited. I've seen him uh, chirp up a couple of times. Have words. It's quiet words at the moment, just words of confidence. He's going to give some more positive thoughts here. They have had a great start, just the start they really needed because they know if uh, Turkey get going, it's good night. They are looking ominously good at the moment. Three points ahead in this first set. That's better from Azerbaijan. Real intent in that spike there. We 
you have to remember that three zip loss to Turkey was in the last game of the preliminaries. So it was only just four, what, four days ago. Fresh in the minds. But uh, some good athletes, it'll be a spur to change things this time around. Dovola back on the serve line. Another good uh, hit by Yormash. Getting to the side and cross court. See there. Nothing they could do about it. Yes, that certainly is the spike, the smash of choice. Cross court. They've done the most damage and I saw it once again there. Jova comes on for Pozniak. He's all around here. So Turkey edging closer. Oh, just about kept alive by Azerbaijan. They're under pressure. And there's nothing they could do in the end. Loads of time for Turkey just to set that one up. Lots of options. And they chose the right one. You just can't afford to make that sort of mistake. Because once you're on the defense, you've seen time and time again, you'll be penalized by this uh, very powerful Turkish strike force. Another Azerbaijan timeout, second and last. See 21-17, why you, you need to disrupt the uh, Turkish rhythm, get a little bit of a message of hope to your charges. Well, certainly uh, throughout this tournament, Azerbaijan ladies have shown great resilience and uh, I don't think they'll be too concerned if they are down kept their heads up all the way through and all credit to them. Turkey to serve again. She's, She's been serving well, isn't she, as well? A handful. As normal, I put the mockers on things. Wasn't even close to the top of the net. Uh, that'll mean a slight change around. The libero, the defensive uh, player, comes on. For Turkey, Gizem Karadai. She's on in the uh, different coloured uh, shirt. There she is. Excellent blocking. Well, that's the difference between having your setter setting and having your libero setting for you. And uh, wasn't the best for Turkey. Now, most of the success on the offense has been from the mid-court coming in, and that one was from the net, and she didn't quite get hold of it, did you, Mash? Yes, it's Edna Akio has been setting so well in 11. There she is for uh, Turkey. So she's just off the net, which gives her a little more room to get the perfect line. Oh, yes, listen to the response. Azerbaijan just a point behind. He's certainly up for the cup, isn't he? <laughs> Once again, Rahamova charges in. Here she comes, look. Whack. Perfect position, and there's nothing the Turkish captain could do about that. Momentum. Great momentum, and that ball certainly uh, ended up at speed across the net. And that's a great response. From uh, one of the tallest athletes on the court. And all of a sudden, Azerbaijan back on the back foot. There's yeah, certainly no love lost between these two teams. They're really both going for it, which is great. It's given us a great game of volleyball, very exciting. Just what the crowd wanted. Looks like a slightly different score, but it's very close there. Six foot six. So, Turkish athlete there. That went. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Great work. Oh, 
great defensive work turning into a good attacking move as well from Azerbaijan, and they are hanging on here. Byron over from the other side this time. No, in fact, Byron over has moved across. Here she goes. And, uh, just a little fortunate. They were there. She knew she was there, but the deflection just went the wrong side for them. Yeah, Ackman is a, a woman mountain. She's so tall, but still didn't always succeed. Has that been kept up? No, it hasn't. Yeah, Two. See, different speed there. Totally different pace. And uh, I think it caught the Azerbaijan ladies by surprise. There's the set, the reverse set. And look at the power from Ackman. Needs to jump too high, does she, at that height? So then, they have the serve. They have the sight of the first set. A couple of points needed. Excuse that event. They made a mistake. Got away with it. Plenty of time for Turkey here. Yeah. It's still in. off the foot and it's still in play. Oh my word, look at no wonder they're dancing around the court. A good bit of luck, but great reaction, and Turkey have a set point. I think that point demonstrated that you have to be aware, you have to be very conscious of where the ball is. I'd love to see that. Just what it came, I think it was the foot, wasn't it? It just bounced off the foot, didn't hit the floor. That's the yeah, main thing. And then it was up on the shoulder. So it just wasn't, it was two shots. It didn't uh, come off the hand. Set point for Turkey. Take that one out. That'll do it, surely. It's on the line, it was. And Turkey take the first set. Disappointment for the crowd here as the home side can't uh, stop the march of the Turkish athletes. And Turkey take the first set. And uh, if truth be told, they were good value for it. Well, certainly Azerbaijan in that first set, it was all uh, coming back. There was never here in front, we can take it easy. They were on the defense and um, on the comeback trail throughout. So, tough start by Azerbaijan. They played well. Just in the end, Turkey showed the class they are. So they are pretty evenly matched. Turkey, world ranked 11. And Azerbaijan, 29. But certainly there, as in the preliminaries, Turkey dominated the closing stages. Yeah. Certainly did, and uh, you see much better turnover of successful spikes. Excellent on the blocks as well. Good uh, aces from Azerbaijan. We saw that middle of the set, but uh, Turkey taking this set point 25 points to 21. Yes, again, that was a sort of a tale of uh, two halves. Good start by both teams. Azerbaijan was strong in the middle, especially with that good sequence of serves by Baramova. So the drums are back. I love these the other night. Oh, he's cool, isn't he? Yeah, they're all around the arena. Love That's the shades. Fun. Love the uh, flames. We're having a great time here. That was a nice touch, wasn't it, by the Turkish athletes to throw some jerseys into the crowd? Yeah. And uh, it's, I think it's fair to say, despite taking the wrong end of that first set, the Azerbaijani athletes really up for this. Yeah, that's uh, dramatical performing there. That's what they're called. Oh, we like them. Yeah, they're good. I, I like, like the, the shades the most, to be fair. Yeah. It's sort of the boner look, isn't it? It's got the hat on, the shades. Yeah. Don't need a hat in Baku at this time of year. Mm. Not even indoors. So then. Oh, a very hot day, you mentioned that. It like was. it was way up towards 110 degrees, which in, in your money is? No, oh, it was about 37 degrees, yep. yeah. About 37 degrees, and even that young man there would have felt the heat, I think. I'm not sure, he, is he going to break into a little smile there? Go on, you know you want to. <laughs> anyway, we're ready for the second set. And uh, Azerbaijan behind by that one set to nil. And, uh, a little bit disappointing at the end there. Wasn't uh, kind of feisty 
finish to the set they would have liked. Yeah. Azerbaijan in the red. And it's uh, Turkey in the white here. But they do need a good start now. from the Azerbaijani blockers. Give me a point to the home side. Yeah, this time Ackman just couldn't control it. Just hit it out of court. Okay, Captain Kurt serving. Leaves it. A little confusion. Got away with it. Out. Oh, yeah. Needs a deeper uh, dig back into opposite territory, though. Just out. Oh, that was a pity. That was a great block by the Azerbaijan front two. Just didn't control it. It's, uh... I took the net actually. Let's have a look here. No, it was the net. It was. Oh, was it? I think the, the hands were there covering, but it took the net call, which is why it they ha must have had a touch, I guess. But it looked like the, the net did most of the work. It must have had a touch. Anyway, on we go. Up three fingers again, another point to Turkey. No, it's virtually impossible to judge when you jump up to defend whether the ball's going to go out. There's no way you can get your hands up there. It's impossible. So you can only do your best, and at times, your best ain't good enough. They play their little pre serve routine. It didn't help too much. Straight out. It was close, though. Too much pace on it. So dipping, just not quickly yeah. enough. Excellently done. Roar around this Crystal Hall as Azerbaijan get themselves into the lead. Yeah, that was a good serve, and straight away the Turks couldn't control the point on their side to start with and uh, were immediately under pressure and Azerbaijan took full advantage of it. Oh yes. Nice touch. Quick thinking. Didn't need the power, just needed the placement. I think there was Adamir Aknol who uh, first flicked it over the net. Great point. Class. Back to serve for Turkey. Captain. Uh, that's good. Nine years of age, one of the more experienced members of the uh, squad. The wall, I think. Yeah. Well, they, they don't think it did because you saw there, just on the far side, ducking out of the way. Let's have a look. I think it definitely was. Yeah, there's the duck from, uh, who was that? That was uh, the mate. Uh, it's a new challenge, so it's a challenge. Clear. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is a Clinical. power match, isn't it? This is two boxers slugging it out. And at the moment, it's just about Turkey's match. Look at the power. And the uh, look of intent as well. And that means that uh, Cooper Ackman has the serve for Turkey. And six foot six, she made it look easy, didn't she? And now she's up for the wall with her partner. Now that. It's just good coaching, good positioning. Perfect defense. Watch the ball as a spectator. What you're not watching is the anticipation by the players. Oh, excellent work from Azerbaijan, who just called the bluff, and there he is, the president, Elav Aliyev. He is, uh, oh, I'm sure, everybody else here, the majority here from uh, that. He's just been noticed by the crowd. <laughs> just arrived. 
And, uh, well, the game will go on, despite the excitement. First Lady alongside, very much involved, of course, with the planning of this uh, European Games. First time I've seen her not on her iPhone. She's always uh, marshalling all the activities going off, and, and even if, when she comes to these events, she's normally working. But this time, it's coming towards the closing of these games, and uh, she's having a bit of a relax, so that's good to see. She can uh, enjoy what she put in place, and really, they've done a great job. So here's the challenge. No touch. There the tank stands. Turkey just ahead in the second set and a set up as well. Too comfortable for Azerbaijan fans is confident, it's fair to say. Six apiece. And the crowd get going. Yeah, little unforced error there. She just uh, knocked it out of court. You just see she's trying a little touch, but it just goes off the wrong side of her hand and the direction. A little lacking. It's long. Uh, service errors are part and parcel of the game, but you do try your hardest to cut them out because it's, it's the easiest way to, to see points. And this, uh, of course, no wonder the coach is scratching. Uh, his head, Alexander Chervyakov. That's better though. Well, they're hanging in here, aren't they, Azerbaijan? They don't have any choice, don't they? They can't really afford to go to zip down because that would be against this team virtually impossible to come back again. So Maybe prove wrong, but I don't think so. So if you not let them off the hook, they get another set. Is that in? Maybe just touched her on the way through. Yeah. Point's gone to Turkey. Well, no, they just couldn't get out of the way, I think. So we take a breather in this second set. It's uh, anybody's set, that's for sure. Technical timeout means there's a minute a bit longer for the coach to get his message across. I imagine it would be the presence here. Look lively. He's had words in. The bench phone has rung already. I'm here. Well, I mean, I don't, no know pressure. They, don't know if there's any relation, but of course, one of the assistant coaches is Ruga Aliyev, and one of the referees is a, as an Aliyev as well. So, and of course, there is this nascent uh, volleyball scene here in uh, Azerbaijan, and uh, there is, that's what you can count on the fingers of one hand, the uh, Turkish fans. Now, I think this is the perfect match because we, we have. Going back to the opening ceremony, the support that Azerbaijan gave Turkey when they came into the arena. So, you know, for two teams, this couldn't be any better, really. Yes, there's a lot of uh, common bonds between these two nations, but uh, certainly it's all suspended at the moment. Yeah. Within the confines certainly of on this the, court. Certainly on the volleyball court. There's uh, no hope bar here. Just ahead. In the second set. Right, I think. Yeah. It's not good. It's going by quite some distance, I think, as well. You want to make your opponents play. Yeah, round overs. She's had a good tournament T tonight. She's made a couple of unforced errors. She's going to tighten up on that. Turkey then. And this is Babbitt. And a great block from the Turks. And they're into double figures here in a gap of three points. Yeah, it was a bit of, bit of a telegraph uh, set, wasn't it? And immediately, you saw the Turkish wall moving over. It's a block uh, Byron over. It's Byron over or Ram over, one of the two. They're the two up there. But uh, we've got to sort that out. Contrasting emotions. It's a box. And that's to him. It is. It. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's a good spot. Perfect placement in the back corner. 
see the difference here. They were, even when they lost the point, they're happy. You know, they've, they've got so much confidence. They're really up for this one. They are going to be tough to beat. Yeah, if you're new to volleyball, it can seem a bit odd that you lose a point and everyone smiles and clapping. That's the way it is. Keep the team morale up. And, uh, the Turks at the moment are leading by example here and the smile is very genuine for another point. Nicely done. Yes, once again, Turkish wall are up for it. They're moving around this uh, front line really quickly. Both uh, Akman and Yilmaz doing a great job. Oh, that's a good comeback though. And uh, absolutely unanswered at the net. A little change in tactic by Azerbaijan. Very effective this time. It was their captain, Kurt, who came through, whacked it down the centre without the set, and good point for Azerbaijan. Double touch there, surely. Well, it is Yilmaz who was penalised there. Oh, they're so fast. And there's good pressure by the Asian by, by, um, the front two spikers. Getting into some good rhythm in this set. Oh, it's in. Excellent. Oh, we were saying how cross court is the way to go, but that was really good play. Saw the gap. Oh, that was precision. And she just looks up, sees the backcourt is empty, right in the corner. Couldn't have been any better. Okay, well, I'm over love that one. As she should do. Certainly racking up the points once again. So tied up, 11 apiece. Second set. Just a touch from the Turks. And Azerbaijan are ahead. They were three down, 10-7, and they've come roaring back. Yeah, it was another great attack. A little unlucky by Turkey. Just lost a little control of that ball. But uh, little marks to Azerbaijan playing well here. But not there. Oh, it's a bit of a loose serve, wasn't it? They just flew on her a little bit and uh, just it was nearly near the baseline. That's a bit to serve for Turkey. It's in. What not effective. And Azerbaijan just about staying ahead. Yeah, that was good. You see, she charged in, although the wall was there, she had plenty of time to get the perfect direction Through. by the side. And another one for Rahmova. Right through the hands of Nerim and Oldzoy. Uh, they're showing some fight here, Azerbaijan. That's going in the way at the moment. That's better from Turkey. And it all goes quiet. You can, you can hear the athletes screaming in a little huddle there. It's uh, deafening if it goes the way of the red-shirted Azerbaijani team. Great atmosphere, really enjoying this. Yeah, I think this is what the players got to do. They can't get quiet because that is disconcerting for the players. Good call there, by the way. Yeah, and again, enforced error. And he'll be happy, but certainly Cheryakov won't be too pleased. Another one, that's the three in a row. And two by Azerbaijan, one by Turkey. It is um, it is difficult, you put the power on, that's always the danger that's going to go flying at the back of the court with no touches. Well, and also both teams have got some youngsters in and uh, I'm sure this is an atmosphere they've never played in before. So, 
maybe the pressure gets to you a little bit. You know how important it is, and you know everyone's watching. I'm pretty sure that TV's around uh, Azerbaijan. We'll have this on. And uh, they'll be cheering at that. More excellent placing. No response, really, from Turkey. About TV, 145 countries are taking this, so uh, a lot of people watching. Yep. Nobody's not lost yet. They're playing well. They're still in it. It was out, but uh, it's on the block, wasn't it? Just not in the right direction. Yeah, that's a good thing. At least they're getting there. And uh, if you get there, you've got a good chance. So Kurt wasn't too happy there. That's bad. Yeah, I should be happy with that one. Oksana Kurt. Leads by example. With several players from the Azerol club here in Azerbaijan. Funnily enough, there's one player who plays uh, in Turkey, and that is Matsu Tova. Geva. She plays for Chanakele Belediccc. There's a one player, Rahimova, who plays in Korea for Hyundai. So, uh, interesting spread of clubs. Well, she's the star player, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, on the Turkish side, everyone in uh, the Turkish league, apart from the number seven. The uh, outside spiker, Seda Aslan Yurek. She's in China with Beijing Ball. Here you go. A very famous volleyball team in China. Did you know that? I did. Well, you're having a, a ball there and a, a disco here. Yeah, Zorba's back. Look at this. On They're your feet, it. another dance. There's somebody with both flags on their flag ball, talking about uh, sitting on the fence. What a hat sir as well, very, very nice, very uh, sensible headwear in this heat, uh, if he's going outside. Good change of pace there, by Turkey. Good change of direction, but the end result wasn't so uh, clever from Azerbaijan. Yeah, Brahimova tried to do the same, and this time just ballooned it out the back of the court. And there she is. And having a good game. No fault on her. It's, uh, it's a great performance once again. So Majan, yeah. in this situation in the first set, and then Turkey started just to put the pressure on and move away. Yeah. Calls around here, just trying to put the extra pressure on the Turkish server. Yes, it seems as though um, Turkey, when the pressure gets there, they have that extra gear they can pop into, both on offense and defense. And there's the uh, perfect defense by uh, Yilmash. Drives it back down the line, point to Turkey. So now he's having words. Getting a little more animated, isn't he? Well, it's the first time where he's took, he's took his time here. He wants to make sure that the momentum doesn't go away from them. Now they're playing well, so um, he's certainly not going to give anything negative. It's all positive. Keep doing what you're doing. You'll get it. You're a good team. And team is the operative word. You're not six individuals, you're a team. Seen out of many sports, they might have the best players, but they don't play as a team, so they don't win. And that is certainly important in volleyball. Yep, teamwork, anticipation, helping each other out, putting your body on the line as well. Ooh, that's long. Just long. And Pazabajan will say thank you. Ties it up again. 17 to post. Peace. Minimum of effort. Get the serve back. Yeah, maximum game, minimum effort. Uh -huh. So I think we're going to have a crack, and we do. That's long again. Azerbaijan nudged themselves into the lead in this second set. There's the 
the iPad and the tablet. There's an app for everything. And it certainly is for volleyball now. It makes the coach's life a little bit easier. The advent of electronic aids. We've got a review here. Let's have a look. No touch. Oh, no, no. A touch of the net. Yeah, and it's one of those professional uh, challenges. We we'll see a few of those. One of the easier ones for the officials to, <laughs> to sort out. Is that in? It is. Well, that was precision from Turkey. Excellent work. It's not quite around here again. Yeah, it's not quite so good by Azerbaijan. He's meant to attack, set it up. There's no reply. It's a mismove that uh, really was the trump card from Turkey. Block from Turkey was excellent twice. I couldn't repeat the dose a third time. Azerbaijan once again just in the lead by a single point. Yeah, that's that six foot seven inch Rahmova who does the damage. We really do depend on her and Rahmova primarily for the points. Kirk comes up occasionally, but it's those two on the outside who really have got to be at the best. Defence just a little lacking there. But great position by Turkey. It was that mid-court, which, which made it really difficult. See, as you call it, the back flip, and just couldn't get to it. Good effort there. Just in front of the libero, and she was uh, just too far back to get it. That's a cracker again by Ryan Over. She's really in a stride, and when she hits it, when she gets in that perfect position, launching forward right at the apex, and bang. Lovely to watch. Needs a few more of those. Azerbaijan leading. Yeah, incredible, 152 points heading into this match, and a few more added. That's for a set and a half. There's two sets now near the end game here in set number two is that just I out? think it's on the line I wouldn't be surprised if he challenges this that was very close the ball might have nicked it someone in the net to, to make a decision really in terms of perspective I think they're going to anyway why not if you've got a review hanging around use it Mile also puts the pressure back on the server for Azerbaijan she's now going to sit there and think about it Oh, it's close. It, it is, is close. very close, and it is out. That was a good call by the referee. He's going to keep the point. Edging closer to the second set. Another uh, timeout this time by uh, Turkey. That being said, just uh, a quiet word. The number 11 has a call. Yeah, neither can, coaches can uh, dispute the effort that both their teams are putting in. Just making sure that the cameras don't quite see what's on the, that tablet there because it's displayed on the big screen as well. And he just wanted a quiet little word. Probably be tripping the camera up next. Yes, and both, I'm sure both teams can understand what both are saying. And, uh, Saying for the written word. And settles down. Azerbaijan two points to the good here. With four more needed to take this second set. Good defense. That is brilliant by Turkey. Goodness me. Defended brilliantly and then just struck at the right moment. Yeah, there's not a lot to Turkey could do about that. Went to her, but she just couldn't control it. Too much pace coming at her. Just couldn't take the pace off the ball and keep it in the right direction. She did one of them, but not both. 20-21. Take her a chance to get back into level terms here. And still able to play for. Her. 
Took a touch. He couldn't deal with it. So, listen to the noise. Take a, take a look at the picture. Just the noise will tell you. Azerbaijan have another point. It's the block. Just wasn't strong enough. Yeah, both had a go, but uh, just couldn't control it. Couldn't slow it down. There was a lot of pace on it. Just went through the wall. Went through the defender as well. Shows how powerful both uh, Rahamova and Baramova are in the offense. He flanked this ball with one heck of a whack. And at times, it's impossible to get back, and even if you do, you're under pressure straight away. But of course, we've seen that from the Turkish offense as well. Robert Old here getting involved. Say about it, is there? I've got you. Lack of words here. So then, Azerbaijan. Casanova needs to give it some gas. Takes it out again. Ooh. It's the photography of the touch, which means there's great celebrations in this hall. Two away from taking this second set and leveling things up. Yeah, talk about the P Turkish power play. That was powerful stuff by Azerbaijan, and really there's nothing the Turks could do about it. It was precision stuff. Raucous in here, absolutely raucous. Yeah, they go crazy in two points if they get it. Ooh, it's, it's out. out. Well, they have set points here. Look at the smiles on the athletes of the Azerbaijan team. Oh, it's such small margins that decide. And there they are in the pen in the corner. Hanging within those white lines, but they will be absolutely delighted, along with the rest of this crowd, if they can wrap up this set. At this time. Three more, though. Studied the ship by Turkey and they needed it. So Jan didn't pull ahead until right towards the end of this set. So they've timed it beautifully and they still have a chance to take this set. Yeah, a lot of pressure on Edina uh, Rapport here. She's up for it. Oh, it was furious. That was a waste. Still, just feel the tension, look at the crowd, hands on head. And a little timeout about to be called here. Yeah, he wants to calm down Ram over. She's not happy, and uh, he can't have his number one striker unhappy. He's going to give us some confidence here. I'm sure he she's the focus of his attention, although she's not there. She's staying it quietly. Maybe she made a mistake. Under this pressure, it's difficult. This is where the true greats come. You can take the pressure and come through. And local music. The locals making themselves heard here. And really, really. Really good atmosphere here, and a really enthralling match as well. Still on this set point. It's gone long, but it's off good the touch. tips, is it? It is, yeah, got a touch. So the close. locals just thought that they'd won the set, but now <laughs> a little smile from the uh, Turkish coach, Akbas, because there was a touch there. Again, talking about small margins early on, and look, there they are, just jumping around, knowing they're getting close. Goodness me, now the nerves are with the Azerbaijanis. Oh, what a second set we have here. Still set point, then. There, there it is. You go. Well, not everyone's out of their seat, but the majority are. 
Uh, the Azerbaijani coach, possibly the calmest person in the hall. And uh, we have parity, one set apiece. And this is how it happened. Well, they took a few set points, but they got there eventually. The block very nearly working, but not good enough. Yes, she got it through, hit the uh, shoulder of Babat, but just couldn't control it. So he's already on the phone saying, come on, you should be tuning into this. This is the cracker. Yeah, well, there you go. Confirmation of a topsy-turvy semi-final here, a gold medal match. That's what's on offer for the winner here. At the moment, we don't really know. One apiece so far here in the Crystal Hall. Yes, it's the game we were hoping for, and we've got it. So tied up, one apiece. As you said, after, after two sets. Some of these games we're going to have done in an hour and a half. Some of them take near a three. I wonder what we're going to have here. And here's the story of the second set. Azerbaijan much better with the spikes. And, uh, although Turkey has always really strong blocking, it was uh, just enough to see Azerbaijan over the line. Yes, yeah, certainly the team. And uh, Cheryakov, the coach, will be very happy with that. So straight into the third set. And that's a good start for Turkey. Just off the top of the wall. Azerbaijan just couldn't control it. Now, can they keep that momentum going? It's certainly going in the right direction. Fascinating to see who takes control of this third set after uh, certainly Turkey very comfortable in that first set. And Azerbaijan taking a great deal of confidence from that second set, but even though it was a little bit nervy towards the end, it's a much better attacking play there. I think Abdul-Demova is on. She took that one straight down the middle. Very clean. Point. Ties it up. Really jumped a bit early, though. Got away with it. Took the touch, I think. They did. There's a Bojan ahead again. Yeah, just tempting them, didn't they? Just went off the top of the fingers. I think it might have gone in anyway. It was dipping in quickly. It did. It's the corner, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. So with that, even without the tip, it could have, uh, could have gone in. Bearing lunge. Yeah, that's it. So, I saw Gave it, yeah, but. Just a little bit slow to react. So, yeah, give, so. give it a due. It's, you know, you're slightly blocked. The ball comes at you at 90 miles an hour, and uh, you can't really fault them, can you? You don't quite get to it. It's just out. Block was wide. Azerbaijan keeping their uh, little lead here. And just too close to the edge there, and it uh, just wouldn't stay in the court. Still didn't get it, but second round was good. Well, we know how good the Turkish blocking has been throughout this game. There's another example of it. Just a, a one-person wall up there, but just watch. Biding her time. Look at the angle of the hands there. It's beautiful. Perfect. That's all you can say. <laughs> oh, well, if you can't get through the block, how about tipping it over the block? That's better from Azerbaijan. Still in the lead. It is good. I think the wall just blocked Ademir Akpal as she came in for the back line. And by the time she got there, she was already in. Then telegraphed. But 
Azerbaijan just couldn't control it off the side of the wall into their court point Turkey No, oh, a little bit unlucky. Well, spinning back the Turkish side. No one at the net to pick up the pieces. Takes the game. Barham over from this side. Up she goes and down it goes. Good point. And she's back to serve. That's right. Yes, it is. They've come roaring back, haven't they, after securing the first set? Two points near now in this third. Zabarimova just keep serving for a couple of points here. There we go, two aces for her. Great server. Dips again, doesn't it? Dealt with well by Turkey. And a great response right on the edge, but in from the Turks. Bayramova will have to take her leave. Excellent serving. But uh, equally good spiking there from Neriman Ozoy. She has the ball in her hand now. Good work from the Libero, but couldn't get it close enough to her teammates. And. Uh, so, so if got guy over very long surname, but her name's Jana, first name. Okay, so we go for Jana. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Ozil at seven again, six apiece. And once again, the Turkish offense perfect to the back court with an angle, and uh, Jan just couldn't dig it out. So we have seen precision play here by both. But, uh, switch over there, but the Turks are up for it. This time, powerful. But again, Turks get it back. Forces Raham over to play it. That could have been going out, but it was so strong at her. She just had no chance to get out of the way, so has to play it. No chance, really. No real thought, time to think. Is that going in or out? Yeah. Your instincts kick in. Time out being called. What you do about it? And, uh, Azerbaijan. Both kit coaches sticking really with the main front six. They've talked the lever around a couple of times, but uh, mostly his starting lineup has stayed in throughout. They know how critical this is, and both put in the players who've uh, proved themselves in this tournament. Sticking with them. It's an excellent fight, tight all the way through. Tight, really got away from Azerbaijan. At the end of that first set, when uh, everything went their way. <laughs> Still having fun in the crowd. It's good to see. Real party atmosphere here. What a party atmosphere if they eventually win, of course. <laughs> what a block that was in. A little lap of honour. Why not? Excellent work from Dishna Babat. Excellent. Look, almost as if she placed it there. Technical timeout now. Slightly longer time for the coaches to have a conversation. And he likes a little one on one from time to time, doesn't he? Having a conversation there. With Neriman Ozoy, of course, one of the uh, key players. 81 points coming into this match. And, uh, another good haul already. First uh, two and a half sets. So looking at the results, this Pool A, which both of these were in, was certainly the strongest. Poland, also in Pool A, finished third in that pool, are in the final. And uh, they beat Turkey 3-2. to two but lost to Azerbaijan. So if Azerbaijan gets there, they'll be confident, and Turkey, well, they'll have to work on it. 
certainly interesting. One, two, three in Pool A. Two of them are going to be in the final. Excellent. Here we go, another little blocking lap of honour. And once again, number four, Dishina Babat. Yeah, it's stuck work. to her fingers, didn't it? And just dropped down. Beautiful. Babat is pretty happy. And again. Yeah. And off we go again, round the court. A little group hug, as always. And uh, the reason they're so happy, you look at the score, four points now. They have uh, been scoring points without response for a minute or two now. Yes, and I'm sure many of you watching will be old volleyball players when you had to score only on your serve. And here, defence gives you the point, and you would have loved that in your day because it does make this a more exciting game. Turkey are excited at the moment because they are on fire. Excellent work from that woman there. Yeah, they're starting to run away with it here. Azerbaijan has to stop the rock. I suspect there'll be a timeout pretty quickly by the Azerbaijan coach. Yeah, the 22 year old Babat Fenerbahce. Somebody's absolutely the player of the moment. Touch that time. This ball in play, Turkey. It was always working very well at the back of the court for Turkey. It's three she's got back. Not that time, though. That's better for Azerbaijan. Yeah, this time it's Yana. For Azerbaijan. Or Nadia Sovska. We'll stay with that. So a good rally, great defence by both sides, and in the end, Azerbaijan got the point, and they'll be pleased about that because uh, that could have been the start, stop of the rot. Yeah. Looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Still three points a gap, but uh, just a little bit of a fight back from the Azerbaijanis. This is only the third set. So, oh, she's doing it long. Thank you very much, says Azerbaijan. A bit of a miss hit there. And, uh, just two points in it. Such a crucial set, this one, isn't it? You know, you've got to win as many as you possibly can if you want to win. But um, that third one, not sure ahead. And uh, your opponent knows they've got to score, uh, score and win the other two sets. Well, it's a real psychological boost. And again, really powerful from uh, Zidkova. And the block just not strong enough. What a comeback this has been the last few points. And you can just feel the will, the want, the desire by both teams to win this one. They know how important it is. As you say, this is a great comeback by Azerbaijan. Much to the right of this uh, packed house in the Crystal Hall. Quite down a little bit. Good work from uh, look believing. Well, just too quick. Nothing that uh, Bosniak could do about that. But, uh, watch it go flying past. Not good, especially after losing all those points. Get it back, to give it away again. I don't think Captain Fred here will do the same. She's uh, she's reliable. Just the point between these two teams then in this match. Too strong again. Let's look. Even. 
That's the one with the uh, plan there. The ball now. Outside Spiker with the serve now. Ooh, and is that long or is it on the line? It's on the line, goodness me. <laughs> An ace. A little decision there. I think the uh, the Libra there will be uh, very disappointed. Madova. Yeah, she was there, but uh, just thought it was going to go out. And by the time she realised it wasn't, it was too late. Good effort. Here's the uh, Turkish Libero from Yuzem Karadai. Really brought back into a playable position. Raham over here, really good for this one, Clark. Played off the net by Turkey. Still in play. Oh, lovely move. Came flying in from middle court, looking to smash it, and then just played the little bluff. Yeah, certainly the right blocker misjumped it. Misjudged the jump, and by the time the ball came over, she was down on the floor. So it was left to Rahimova at six foot seven just to try to dink it back. But even that uh, six foot seven wasn't good enough. She needed another foot. And uh, poor effort back court. From, uh, yeah, this is ominous by it? Turkey now, putting the pressure on. Yeah, 16 12. Very quickly, they were tied up just to. A few seconds ago, the quick points. Technical timeout, minute for the coaches to sort things out if they need to. The Azerbaijani coach, more of a worry than his counterpart. Alexander Shevyakov say, spikes, any level. Eight or two in this set as well, haven't we? All absolutely rocking tonight. It'll be a sad old uh, walk back along the Corniche to the metro station if uh, the home team doesn't win, you know. That's the fountains and the massive flag, of course, out the back and around by the flame towers. Didn't do anything on a small scale in Azerbaijan, you know. saying that they do like their late night so I think one or two will stop at a bar on the way either to uh, celebrate or to drown their sorrows absolutely I think they'll be celebrating even, even if they lose because they've got to the semi-finals and there's still a chance of a bronze medal whoever loses this match oh for sure it's a, a point back for Azerbaijan in this third set It's a nighttime culture here, partly because of the heat during the day. Chance to get out and it's scorching your skin. Oh, what a block that was. Well, it was one player at the net. And it was Poznak. No wonder she's smiling, because uh, in a way, she got lucky. Had enough time, though, to work out ball. where it was going. It was a poor smash, really. You know, she had plenty of time, saw where Poznat was staying, just couldn't get it by her. That's better from uh, Turkey. Yeah. Really pumped up. They are in their little bubble. Not too worried about what's going on in the crowd. Yeah, much better angle on that one. Cross court, got it by the wall. And uh, the back line for Azerbaijan just couldn't get to it. Was with a chance for her first service ace. Good wall again by Turkey, and they're loving it. So is he. So very relaxed, isn't he? That far. So, good go, ladies. This is good stuff. I'm loving it. Nice 
chase that one, the Turks. So one more touch should get it back. And that's an excellent touch as well. Oh, that was a better one. That really was classy stuff. Just a flick in between the front and the back court. Tremendous effort, I think, by the Turkish captain, but she just couldn't get to it. Watch this, beautiful. Ooh, big dive, but just couldn't get to it. And the uh, move of last resort is to get it onto the top of your hand and hope for the best. It's an excellent bit of digging there from the Turks. And another good bit of work from the Libero. Not for all Oh, that is just fabulous, fabulous point from Turkey, both in defence and uh, in attack. Yeah, it showed the patience as well. You know, they were under a barrage of uh, attacks, then had the chance to set it and took full advantage of it. Patience at times. Frustration from the uh, coach. You have to be patient as well. Good spike, but they were up to it. That really was a cracker. Good defense by Turkey once again. Can they do it again? Yes, they can. So this is what we wanted. This is a cracker game. Oh, nothing the Libro there could do. Mm. Not backwards by the uh, force of it, uh, Valeria Mamadova. She played it off her head, looking for a quick uh, header here back. Just couldn't get to it. Oh, the home fans crammed into the Crystal Hall are disappointed. We have a technical timeout. I'm just wondering whether we're having a uh, No, we might have had a challenge of some description. I couldn't see how. I think we pulled them off pretty quickly. And who can blame him? They were under a huge barrage of attacks there. Uh, they were standing, it stood most of it, but um, now they've got a five point deficit. So, some work to do. Friendly relations in the crowd between these two. It's a little bit hotter on the court. Some excellent work from Turkey in the last uh, few points has put them in pole position in this third set. Some hot air everywhere in this arena at the moment. And it's pretty warm. It's a hot competition. A great competition. It's just out, I think. So good point to Azerbaijan. Just what they needed. Would have been not there. And uh, Babat. She's okay. Those two aces, she is a uh, go to server. Nice touch. Off the back of the hand, kept alive by Azerbaijan. Libro did well there, but not that time. I think she could do that. Yeah, perfect positioning between the back and the front, half court, cross court. Take that, she says. Just look at this. Clinical work. <laughs> Don't they love it? may not even on the field. So we're in that little white square and they have to stay in. I think that's another one to Azerbaijan. It was just off the side of the Turkish wall this time. They got there. But because of the accuracy. It's probably going to run him over. Now this time it was uh, Poznak from the outside. So she's moving around. Goes back to serve. That's a sweet point, I think. This is a fantastic effort. Oh, what a move there. Little miss move from Turkey. Pushed it to the side. Across the court. No chance for Azerbaijan to return that. And, well, they're getting close to this third set, aren't they? And taking the lead in this match. Oh, to be fair to Azerbaijan, they are playing well, but they just can't match Turkey at the moment. Yeah, they're really on a roll. Better. Got the block up, Turkey. Couldn't keep it in play. Just a little more height on it. She stood back. Mid-court. Bashed it high. Off the fingers. So they're still hoping this set for Azerbaijan. All is not lost. Can't be 
Mm -hmm. Just two points away from taking a 2-1 set lead here, Turkey. They have not been intimidated by this crowd one little bit. They've played some great volleyball, especially in the closing stages. That was absolutely brilliant from uh, Luke Levin. Perfect once again. Yeah, a bit of luck, but uh, hey, this war really is fantastic for Turkey this evening. Set points then for Turkey to take the lead in this match. 2 1. Six win. Labricks wouldn't give you a good odds on this, would they? You'd be throwing your money away. Nicely done. Yeah, nice yeah, one yeah. back. Pretty casual. She went back and just wiped it down the side. There's plenty of options for her, wasn't there? Still up against it, though. Needs to cover. Goes back to serve after that. Nice little sort of placement. Brilliantly done. No mistake there. And they have wrapped up this uh, third set in quick time. Turkey take a 2-1 lead. Wonder they look so delighted. Yeah, that was a clinical performance by Turkey. And uh, to be frank, the Azerbaijan team played exceptionally well, but they were just powered out of it. Precision, power, placement. There's not a lot they could do. They couldn't have played much better. They just needed a little more luck. It wasn't to be, and as you say. Turkey, Turkey took it quite uh, comfortable. That score really doesn't reflect the good play by Azerbaijan. So now this is a huge O for the Azerbaijan ladies. 2-1 down, going into the fourth. This is the third set statistics. Turkey again bossing the spikes. Didn't have as many, but... Uh, Got more away there, and look at the block, six to one. And that really is uh, something that you have to address if you're Azerbaijan, because the defence from Turkey was excellent. And, uh, as much as we love to see spikes go crashing down through the court, blocking is an essential part of a winning game. Well, especially because you can uh, win on the point. So yeah, it's just as important, really, as offence. They're staying for this one. Looking a bit deflated at the moment, aren't they, the locals? Yeah, shut them up a bit. They need this drummer out again. Dramatic, or whatever his name is. He has to come out and line them up, get them going, get some energy back in this crowd, because certainly the, it'll help the Azerbaijan la um, uh, ladies. They need a little more energy. They did give their all. There's the effort. Nothing if not animated, these women. We head towards a fourth set. Will it be a deciding set? Turkey need one. Yes, I'm sure you know. We're going to need two. Both of these Azerbaijan, if they want to stay in this match. Here we go then with our fourth set. Early advantage for Turkey. Yeah, that little uh, bluff by the Turkish team forced the Azerbaijan lady here to touch the net. You'll see quite clearly just delayed. She just overplayed it. She was hoping the ball was going to keep her arms back, but it didn't. Good play by Turkey. Very clever. That's better from Azerbaijan. Right uh, in the center of the court was where the space was. And they found it. Yeah, nice little dink here. By the wall. Maybe a little lucky, but uh, hey, they all count. They've got to come cleanly off the hand, but still. They have the point, but they've conceded the serve. Because that was long. Yeah, the 
just can't afford to do that. If they were winning, yeah, but uh, when you're down two sets to one in the fourth, you need every point you can get. They know how good this Turkish team is. Some unforced errors. They've not had their calls at all. <laughs> you should get that back. Have another one. That one as well. But this time. That's good. Good defense. Yeah, Carry away all the work for Turkey. But when they turn defense into attack, as you say, yeah, two very determined Azerbaijani blockers there. You saw that one of them was Raham over. So she does it all. And there's another one. She's a brilliant player. I think any club will sign her if they get the opportunity. Such a thriving European volleyball scene, of course. It's at national level and at club level. Doing this a good advert for volleyball across the continent. Good uh, adjustment there. Well, she nearly fell over back first, didn't she? And she moved across the court and cut at the other side. Well, when you're that tall, Kubra Ackman can look a little bit uh, awkward. This is the woman who is, what, six foot six, 197. And that certainly helps in your defensive duties as well. That's for sure. So it's always there as well. Much more modest, 188. That's better from Azerbaijan is now slightly ahead. But as we've seen in previous sets, Turkey kind of after burner gear that uh, they've put on in two of the three sets. Yes, something off hesitantly. They would be struggling without this lady, Rahimova. She's having another great game and scored most of their offensive points. That was a mistake of misjudgment from Turkey. Kurt just putting the fit finishing touches to it, finger over the net, dinked it down. And there's nothing Turkey could do. Perfect. She actually flipped it down, not just a block. Very aware of what's going on. So Ramova serves again. Oh yes. Bit of luck. But they'll take it. That's coaching. Staff's uh, very animated. There's a little bit of discussion between the uh, Azerbaijani coach and his team. That's better. Down the line. And that challenger, that was very close. Something for mine, huh? Down from the high. Oh no, it was easily in. It's the speed of the ball as well, isn't it? Yeah. Very difficult to tell. Oh, yes. Again, brilliant. And uh, they managed to hang on there and turn defence into attack. So. No slow and leisurely dig, but uh, you couldn't say the same thing about the spike. Yeah, that was always the way she was up in the rafters when she came down, and then uh, this is her serve. This time, that comes out on the flank. Rahimova uh, changes a uh, little pace there, that was interesting. In the back court, and for Azerbaijan, good for her. Well, it's great work from the Turkish Libro. Dai. In the end, it's for a losing point. And Azerbaijan lead by two in this full set. Will it go to five? And the crowd have woken up. And this is the review. And there was a touch. touch. You just saw it. Angles the finger. Second finger. Bends back. And uh, there we go. Turkey at the point. We're all level. 
And that was a good review. Yeah. I mean, you tend to know, don't you, if you're up close at the net, certainly worth a try. God, great a game from Karadai. She's having an excellent game. Oh, saw you say that. She <laughs> takes the touch that takes it away from her player. Well, I was about to say, you know, the Libros, you don't really count how many times they save points and turn them into attacking opportunities, but this time, yeah, well, you can see why she went for it. But uh, in the end, probably wasn't the best uh, option. Yeah, I don't think she was aware that Ozo was behind her. If she was, she would have left it. It would have been an easy control for Ozo, but... An attack once again by Turkey. Great blocking. Look at the net, actually. Put, put her off there, definitely. Byron over went up for it, and I'm pretty sure it came down under the net. But, uh, that wall was there for Turkey once again. And one of the two walls, certainly the Turkish wall, scored more points. Talking about uh, Libros, by the way, it's Sibama Dover of, uh, and she is, Azerbaijan, who's top of the ranking for Libros at the moment, heading into the semi-final phase. That's a touch there. Oh, she's done exceptionally well under difficult circumstances out on that far side for Turkey. Yeah, I think Ramova was expecting a blast there, but she just took some pace off it and just couldn't control the lower place. But going on on what you're saying about uh, Liberos, I'm not sure when they came in, but whoever decided to have that position and give them the freedom they have, it was a great move for this sport. It was part of the, uh, the raft of changes, wasn't it, that came out? It was 98 when... You went away from only being able to score on your serve and you know, the different coloured shirts, the ability to substitute them in and out. And it, yeah, it's uh, always good to have rule changes, but I think it's worked very, very well. This has certainly brought more excitement into the game. And uh, the FIVP, the world governing body, has done a great job because both men's and women's World League are really popular. I think they've taken the flag off the flag for them. They say it's a great flag. It's not so good if you're sitting behind it. No. Young and old having a great time here. They'd have a better time if Azerbaijan win here, but uh, great atmosphere. You said it was the hottest ticket in town tonight. And, uh, I don't think you disagree. Yeah, it is pretty hot in the beach uh, soccer. They're outside. Oh, I, you didn't mean that, did you? It's a party speaking. <laughs> you know. Yes, it's fair, you, you, you wouldn't uh, afternoon games outside. Goodness me, the beach volleyball, it was as hot as an oven out there. I know they're used to it very often. Played by both sides. Nice touch, he was up for it. Oh, is it, is it in play? No, it's touched the floor. Oh, that's an excellent. Attempt uh, by Babbitt, but Azerbaijan are on level terms. Yeah, it was Ramova again. She's on the outside, so they think she's going to blast it in, but no. Little finesse, and uh, four was just too slow. It was Babbitt just couldn't get there on time. It's a good play by Ramova. How many times have we said that? <laughs> Quite a few. Yeah, she's a class act. And, uh, these are a lot of these ladies, they really are. More importantly, they play great as a team. We talked about it at the beginning of the program, but both teams here are exceptional. It's just gone wide, ah, I think. There was some debate there. There wasn't a big uh, cheer by the Azerbaijan ladies, so we could have a challenge. Nope. Back goes uh, Ackman. On we go, nine apiece. Crucial, crucial fourth set. And that is long. Oh, it went for power, didn't dip down. You really don't want to hand your uh, opponents a point on the plate, but they have done that. Turkey just nudging ahead. That's a certainly crucial set for Azerbaijan. Turks have got one in hand. They don't want to go to the fifth, but if they do, Worry too much. Oh, lovely play. 
Just about rescued it from the wrong side of the net. The captain, Kurt, who was up there, took the point. Beautifully done. Had to uh, act quickly, and they did. Turn a piece. Fourth set. Azerbaijan needs to win this one to stay in the match, of course. And those clinical points look so easy. There's another one. Just threw it up. Bang. Point over. No chance. If you get it in the right place, and of course that is very difficult to do when you're eight feet in the air, either going up or going down. You have that control. Great skills by these ladies. Oh, good wall. Once again, the Turkish wall are up for it. Literally up for it, aren't they? And uh, excellent blocking. They have blocked so well all the way through this match. And getting the angle is the main thing. It's right to put your hands up there, but just angling at the right moment. And there are a couple of points to the good. And uh, perhaps not surprisingly, timeout is called. Yes, yeah, so just clarifying that. When they do it right, it looks so easy, but it's not. You know, the timing, the angles, everything has to be perfect. And of course, the wall, if it's one, doesn't matter. But if they're two or three, they've got to be in the right position to give them a better chance of uh, succeeding on their block. And we see it time and time again, a two-person block is successful. It's a power to have on both sides because it's crucial to win these games. Turkish war goes out. So Azerbaijan are back in the game once again. Only just one point adrift. Oh, yeah, we said this last uh, second, and all of a sudden, again, Turkey just showing the power that they've got. And I wonder whether it might happen again here. Struggling a bit, though, on this point. Forced to the play, it could have been going out. And again, and the left-hander is having a great, great impact on that far side. Let's look, Helivan. She's from Finland, isn't it? Well, oh, the way I pronounce it, it does. Yeah. But uh, certainly having the, uh, the left-hander out there, changed the angles around a little bit. Now, if you look on the Azerbaijan team sheet, Every one of the players, apart from two, are both handed. You can hit it with either hand. You've got one lefty, one righty, and the rest of them are double handed. Very strange. Unusual. I think we've seen in this game that it's predominantly the right handers. Occasionally you see a left hander. That's long. Yeah, I'm over there, serving is down as a bothy, but she predominantly hits with the right. We've seen her occasionally coming in from the far side with her left hand, but mostly it's uh, a powerful right hand for the spike. And the oh, nicely done. Yeah, she's in the middle of the court this time. Pashes it right through. Having another fantastic game. Yeah, she charges in there. And it looks so easy. But to get it in that gap, that's great skill. Oh dear. The dig wasn't good. Set uh, Turkey off the defensive. There's another Jan on to level terms in this full set. Yeah, we haven't seen many miss hits by the Liberos, but that was certainly one of them. Got the timing a little wrong and uh, shot out at right angles. What the players could do about it? Oh, another miss hit, but they got away with it. They're under pressure now. Nothing up for it. No, it's down the line and it's in. It's a little bit quiet around this hall. Yes, 
Yes, it's funny, isn't that? In our previous uh, semi-final, no one could hit it down the line successfully, but here we see numerous times going down the sidelines. It's a, it's a great weapon if you can keep it in court. But very difficult when you're swinging from the outside. Long, did he get a touch? No. Goes. That's the point at which Turkey starts to move away from Azerbaijan and take the match. Well, who knows? But uh, there's the long spike. Bit too much juice on that one. Yes, a rare mistake by Rodhimova. In fact, I thought she was going to hit it with her left hand, but she changed and uh, hit it with her right hand. Smiles from the Turkish players. Uh, I see Kalach uh, slopes off to that uh, corner area where players less on the bench have to stand. Quite strict about that, the officials. Some of the things officials are quite strict about. Yeah, no, a little box, don't they? it's not that bad. They haven't lost yet. Tears before bedtime here at the Crystal Hall. Perhaps it is bedtime, and that's why there are tears. I don't know. Well, it has been nice to see, not just in the crowds, but when you walk around Baku, it really is a great family town. Parents out with the kids enjoying the evening uh, cool air and the wind off the Caspian Sea. They'll be enjoying that it as well. Good work from Azerbaijan. Over. <laughs> she really has scored most of their points, I think, on the offense and a few on the defense. That's Kurt, the captain. That's it. Nice change of pace. Put on the defense and they quite cope with it. Not much that uh, Karadai could do about that. Bit too much pace on the ball as it came flying towards her. Dipping as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Fired him over. Aimed it on purpose. So get out of that one. And the accuracy of the offense. <laughs> Took it. Thank you very much. And then came back after the set to uh, smash that one down through centre court. Yeah, that was perfect. Nicely done. Right between the two players. Enjoy it with the point. So she did put some effort into that one. Yeah, good defence. That's a safe spot. Just got a hand to it. Not What's sure if that was going out or not. Great pressure here. They've got to play it just for safety, I think. Oh, yeah. oh the Libro couldn't keep it up and keep it in play. Mamadova will be disappointed there. It wasn't the greatest quality of rally, but it certainly was exciting. Again, two points of difference. Turkey ahead, 18-16. Wide as a Rajan pulled to that point. Look at the pressure. Slamming them in there and got to lead the checks most of the time. Get them back occasionally. Like that one goes off the side and out of court. So. Point in it, as you say. Who has the heart for the fight here? Oh, well, she always has. Nothing at the diving. 
we could do about that one. From watch it go past. 19-17, and they sniff victory here. Certainly the crowd are trying to get behind their charges and that will give them something to cheer about. It's as good as anyone's game, but you just feel that uh, Turkey's got something left in the tank here. Right them off yet, Azerbaijan. Like you say, they are scrabbling, aren't they, to stay in this set? Yeah. Oh, and there's another point. Turkey reached the 20 point point. point. And uh, five more. We'll see them take their place in the gold medal match. And the pressure feed it on. The home side, the home athletes. Oh, brilliant. They've been brilliant throughout with their blocking. And once again, Dershila Babat. She has been absolutely colossal. And uh, time out goes to uh, the uh, Azerbaijanis who have to sort themselves out here. You can always feel a sense of anxiety around this crystal hall. Oh, no, it's all about belief. It's trying to get some positive thoughts in, but it's very difficult at this stage. They can see the huge scoreboard when they look up. And that's the thing that, in a way, you just want to play the point, don't you? It's so difficult to do that. Easy said. Actually, harder to do. So then, getting towards the crunch time of this fourth set. Are we heading towards a fifth set or the wrapping up of this match? Advantage at the moment to Turkey. Ackman with the serve. Better, better for Azerbaijan. Textbook stuff. Well, over again, and I think a few other people have to uh, up their game just a little bit to help her out because she has really scored a lot of points. Good defense. She'll be back under pressure again. Yeah, this time, now. So they've got a chance. Oh, no, on the outside again. Good block. And again. Oh, and they got lucky there. Yeah, she just dinked it over the top. Took a touch, didn't it? And that uh, wrong footed the Turkish players. And this time it's Turkey. We're going to ask for that timeout. Yes, I think she, she knew what she wanted to do. She was a dinkler, and she just hit it a bit hard and hit the top of the wall. She was trying to get it just where it finished. But mistimed it slightly. Gave the Turks a chance, but luck was on her side that time. First time out, and they feel that they need to call in this uh, set. After one point, very importantly. Azerbaijan right back in this one. All is not lost yet. That's a feeling that as well. Is that a megaphone I see? Uh, where the noise is coming from. Where have we got that past security? The metal detectors outside. <laughs> probably asked by uh, I suppose I need security to go, what have you got that for? Is it for the match? Oh, okay. in you go then. And certainly adding to the atmosphere. Very casual by Turkey there. It's in! Yes, it is. Well, I think there might be a challenge here from Turkey. 21, yeah, 21. There's a cucumber. My coach, I think he might have a, a case here. That pass. They're waiting. Pressure on her. Oh, it's right on the line. Right on the line. Oh. 
it looked at the time it went past as if it was very close call, certainly worth a try. 21 apiece. Here comes Akin. Number six there. He's had an absolute massive game so far. She's taken a rest. He meets Levan. It's wide. And Azerbaijan for the first time in a long time are ahead in this crucial match. And another timeout called by Turkey. Just uh, touched the wall, but it must have touched the net as she uh, drove that one in. You just see on the replay here. Yeah, just off the top of the net, I think. It's loving it. As it should do. And this is a great reply by the Azerbaijan ladies. Effort gives them a chance here in the fourth. And, uh, the alarm round. Back in the 20-year-old from the coach, that's good coaching. Just a little word in the ear. You can do this. So those few who have left the arena might be regretting it. I don't think there's that many. Perhaps they've gone for a drink or a comfort break. But, uh, and they're on their feet still. And it's Azerbaijan in the lead. Oh, no. no. Well, they were for a brief moment. I'm over making that unforced error. Yeah, not like her. Here we are, and number six back on again. Yeah, you're right, that takes the energy out of the hall, doesn't it? You can see it's going very quiet. Just to get their breath back again here. She's coming out. And it's a uh, cover. They look very similar. Is there a touch of the net? I think there was. Turkey edge ahead. And they got their fingers to the block as well, but it went out. So let's have a look at the hit here again. Actually oh, no, it went the wrong side, didn't it? Yeah. Didn't Hard to tell. We're the wrong side of the net. From the point to see that. It's yes. Post. And here's a just pretty disappointing thing to happen for Azerbaijan. So Turkey two points away from winning the match. Azerbaijan three points away from taking it to a fifth set. And it's tight. They've done it. They've tied it up. 23 apiece here. Great atmosphere, great drama. And as you can see, Turkish coach Ferhat Akbas just telling his side, calm down, calm down. He's used his timeouts, of course. Surely, thank you. Always look like they've had an extra gear here. Can they close it out? Over is off for a while. Oh, they have a set point, Azerbaijan. Great blocking, great drama here. Lovely little miss move. The Reverse for the spike, but uh, well, Azerbaijan were equal to it. And are we about to go to a fifth set? Showing belief here. This point will tell. And they keep it in. Oh, the crowd's going crazy. And it's in. It's in. And they've, they've done, done it. it. <laughs> Amazing scenes here. Look at that. Everyone on their feet. And we are going to a fifth and final set in this semi-final. Oh, what drama. He's the calmest man around. So they've been on court for well over two hours, and uh, they've got to go a little longer. 15 points in the fifth, but uh, 15 minutes. What a great spike that was. Excellent work from Bayramova. Yep, she's... Uh, She's one of the two prong attacks. Primova was off, so it really was up to her. And uh, she came to the plate and did the business. Great finish. Not just of the set, but great finish of the point. Yep, we have a match on here, don't we? Two apiece. Turkey and Azerbaijan. 
teams that uh, top their pool, the teams that have looked good all the way through. And just one of them can get into this gold medal match. Will it be Turkey or will it be the hosts of this European Games, Azerbaijan? Well, if you consider Turkey beat Azerbaijan, three zip in the preliminaries, you can only say that uh, Azerbaijan maybe had a bit of a bad hair day there. And, uh, certainly not today. Excellent on the spikes, crucially equal on the blocks. And opponent errors, look at that, seven to two, Turkey. Just look at the chance of 42 attempts by Azerbaijan up against 29. That is quite a difference in chances, so they could have wrapped that up quicker if their spike to win uh, ratio was better. Well, it's gone uh, almost as if passing it around the sets, set wins. So it goes to Pat, and it will be Turkey who have the advantage. But uh, it looked pretty bleak, didn't it, at one point uh, in this fourth set? But goodness me, what a comeback from Azerbaijan. Yes, that was a bit of class, really. They really were easily out of it, but they kept the will, the want, and the desire to, to win. And in the end, it came good. So, full marks to them. Great effort. players asking each other but look at the passion of the uh, Turkish players as well this is a real pressure cooker of a semi-final I don't know how often these two teams have played uh, before not that much I don't think but uh, it's probably this is a bit of a shock to Turkey they came in here really with three love in the preliminaries thinking this is going to be straightforward they knew purely because of the crowd support it was going to be tough but uh, maybe not so tough as this Azerbaijan taking them to the fifth first to 15 in this fifth set of course so this will be a fairly short by comparison you've got to get off to a good start yeah, we did see one of them get the 30 odd points didn't we so, <laughs> that's Serbia what a disappointing way to start. Adding a point to Turkey with a long serve there. Fifteenth of the way there, Turkey. <laughs> it's not bad they'll look at it. But getting a point on the board and working from there. Nice little left hand dink this time. Defence by Rolamova on the back line. You might see a charging in in a minute. Given the opportunity. Took oh, a touch no. in anyway. And yeah. uh, Turkey with an early advantage here. And certainly both teams know they're in one heck of a battle here. And this is just uh, a place in the finals. It's not the final, it's a place in the finals, so... A good game after this for whoever wins. Oh. Medal. That was, you can see what they were trying to do, just uh, edge it over the net sideways, but uh, misjudged on that uh, far side by Zidkova. Yeah, Three a shot. And uh, not surprisingly, a timeout is called. Well, wow, a bit breathless the last few minutes, hasn't it? Yep, yeah, well, I think he's uh, getting into it a little more, isn't he? Well, he knows it's now or never. So, uh, well, he's got a chance, it's just one set. So, so they uh, could have come out and just played for this set. Yeah, well, a late night for some youngsters. Part of the workforce there. The blue shirts on, and they've been exceptionally good as of all these games. This is the first European games, but if you go to the Pan Am, the Asian, the Olympics, 
Maybe the workforce is the backbone of the games, and uh, they've done a good job here. That's a little bit better. Maybe give them a little bit of hope. Turkey. I said it before and I don't want to say it again. Luck has got to be on your side. No, she thinks it's a double hit. Referee doesn't, so they play on. Oh, unlucky. Excellent defensive work from both sides, and in the end, it was Turkey who prevailed. And they restore their three point cushion. Yeah, but it was like, take that, take that, take that, and in the end, they got it. Like uh, two heavyweights in the last round, yeah. just exchanging blows until something gives. Boxing, by the way, just around the corner here, the Crystal Hall. It is, just across. Been there a couple of times. Some great fights. That's, uh, and we've got another one here. Yeah. This is toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff, isn't it? Yeah. And it has gone to the last round, so to speak, the fifth set. It's a little bit soft from Turkey. Oh, we've had a couple of close knockouts when there was uh, blows going through. There's that. Brilliant work from the Libero. Oh, and it's just snuck over the net. Oh, it looked like a double hit by the Turkish girl, but she got away with it. Karadai. The uh, Libro flinging herself around the court. Let's have a look at this again. No, I think it came off the hand of uh, Zidkova and then came back again. Two hits, but they were legal. It's only a battle at the, uh, at the net. Oh, it's just gone out. It has. And Azerbaijan get a precious point. Three. Challenge. I think he's going to challenge it. Thank you, but he was there looking. Yeah, he's got a good view from there. That looks out to me. Uh, with the compression of the ball, we will see. It's pretty close. Well, 7-2 would be a lot. Comfortable for Turkey, then 5-3. It's close, isn't it? <laughs> 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 but it was worth a, worth a try, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it is angle, I suspect. Bearing in mind, it was going an angle to Away him as well. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Worth the try. Yeah, for sure. Oh, great blocking. Well, it was all Turkey. Had all the time in the world to set it up. And Azerbaijan are back in this fifth set. There's some nice, nice touches by Ademir Akkol here in the middle. And uh, she's the setter. She did that lovely little dink. She nearly caught them out. They got it back. She did set it back. And, uh, oh, that's it close again. But I am over to serve. And that woman who won that point. Excellent work from the Libro. It's still alive here. She goes again. It's off her body. And it has gone to Azerbaijan, 5-5 five, five in this final set. Goodness me, well, they're riding their luck. Turkey seem to have the better shots in their armory, but somehow Azerbaijan are still in this match. Yeah, it was obviously uh, an illegal hit because it went off her hips, but uh, it was a great effort. Ooh, what a pass there by the Libero. Oh, she got that one, I have no idea. And that did go in. Well, Mamadova, the Libro, has been playing out of her skin. As, as Karadai on the other fair. side. Yeah, it's it's great defence by these Libros. Very important part of the team. And the good thing about it is for those who aren't as tall as gods and goddesses, you can still take part in this high level of competition. And uh, Azerbaijan back on level terms, 6-6, six, six, it's race to 15. Remember, it has to be by two clear points, so a bit like tennis, we could go on and on. Just the faintest of sets, and it was enough. Well, no, no. 
They're in for a shout of winning this. They're in for a shout of getting to the gold medal place. And they are ahead, 101 kilometers an hour. That was an absolute bullet. It's the first time any lady's gone over 100k, I think. It's the first time I've seen it. And I've seen most of these matches, so uh, 98 was the best before that. So that really was a cracker by, yeah, you know who, Rahmova. She really has got the bit between her teeth here. She's really into this. There's a, everyone, but, uh, there's a challenge. Music stops around this arena. There can only be a foot challenge, isn't it? Did she touch the line before she hit the ball? She touched the ball. Here we go. Let's see. She's behind the line. So. Very far. There you go. Perfect. Just to give the chance a bit of a rest. <laughs> a little bit of disruption for the Azerbaijanis who are ahead here. Yeah, but no, she blasted in again. Take that. What a response. <laughs> Take that back again. Yeah. Brilliant from Turkey. Medioska, wasn't it? Just bash this one in. Right cross court. Certainly the uh, shot favoured today. A little look across at the other coach. <laughs> no, it's in. And the crowd are on their feet again. Azerbaijan again inching ahead. President and the First Lady State for this. Well, I've seen, seen a treat, wouldn't they? They have a pressing engagement, you never know. But uh, a lot of people would say this is the pressing engagement. Who would argue? There we go. And that's some late nights as well, the latest. But it might be one of the most exciting. Whistler went for a touch on the net. It's reversed. She gave it across the wall. And uh, now she's taking it off again. And gave it back to Azerbaijan. That's where she went, but the scorer made it eight all. Pressure on everyone here. There's not a lot to say. Once again, it's pretty cool. I like his manner as a coach. He gives confidence to his players. Doesn't pull them out. Just raises them. Encourages them. Positive response to it. Two points adrift here. Got some, a little bit of work to do. We're going to take this one. Rajnath again. Azerbaijan. No! It's gone the way of Turkey. The block not successful there. Let's go for a wipe of the floor. Over. Because of the dive. Some sweat to do. This is such a full on physical sport, this. They are definitely. You might expect them to. Yeah. This is uh, more rain than we've seen all the time we've been here. We've seen a drop of it. It's on the line. Could be Turkey. Yeah, no flag there. Uh, on level terms here. Uh, very close. Oh, what a save! 
Still in play. Turkey still alive. And not now. They lose the points. And Azerbaijan go ahead into double figures. Once again, it was Rahimova who finished it off. The Turkish wall were up for there, but this time it's misdirected it. Just a small edge now to Turkey. Tactic on the serve there. Took a block, touch, went through, ten apiece. Timeout, I think, has been called. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate for Azerbaijan. There's a substitution. We're going to stay out on court here. So let's save your uh, timeouts. You're in a spot of bother in a couple of points' time, wherever that's likely to be. More celebrations. Azerbaijan just ahead again. Just too powerful for that uh, Turkish wall. Slight deflection. Control it again, you can see the disappointment and looks like he needs to face. And a chance of him. To him over. She gets it back somehow. We can smash again. Jean does the same. Oh, it's gone long. Well, it was a cracking rally. Crowd really getting involved, and at the end, no roar, just a whimper as uh, Turkey <laughs> and their coach celebrate a point. So then, 11 apiece, two apiece in sets. It is so tight here. Oh, it went over the net, reached over the net. Could have just tried to tip it over, I guess. Turkey now then. Oh, getting close to this 15-point mark that will win the match. The slim margin it might just be decisive at this stage of the game. This is really close, can go either way. Surprising, he's taken down and move it off. One of their top scorers. Maybe a defensive move. That's the Libro. And again, a little bit too far over the net. And uh, Turkey have a two-point advantage and are two points away from taking this match. And a timeout, not surprisingly, called by Alexander Chervyakov. Yes, we don't want an anti-climax now. We want, uh, we want winning these Azerbaijan ladies to tie it up again. But uh, this is huge pressure for them. It's not getting any harder than this. Two points down. So, Turkey two points to the gold medal match. Azerbaijan currently need four. This goes into extra time, of course. To win by two clear points. All worried looks up in the seats. Excellent atmosphere. I don't think anyone's gone. Well, they know how difficult this is now for Azerbaijan. We've seen it throughout the match. Once the Turks get in the lead towards the closing stages, they generally close it out. And there they have go. the block, and they have the match point. Turkey have been excellent at these crunch moments. And are they about to break the hearts of all the Azerbaijanis here? Oh, they didn't like what they saw. So, match point for Turkey. Here we go. Well, they left that. They did and they played it. I didn't regret that. We will see. It was good. And they've done it. Turkey have done it. They have taken this match in the fifth set. Azerbaijan, they played so well and this packed crowd so disappointed, but in the end, Turkey with the power and the president, well, 
I'm sure he enjoyed what he saw. He stayed for the whole match. He'll be disappointed, but Turkey, I think, on balance, deserve to have taken this match. They progress through to the gold medal match where they face Poland. And unfortunately for Azerbaijan, it's a bronze medal playoff against Serbia. Yep, in the end, obviously they'll be disappointed, but I think uh, generally they'll be happy the way they played. You know, they came back from a set deficit on two occasions to take it to the fifth and played exceptionally well in this fifth set. But at the end of the day, I think the Turks just had that little extra gear they could go into when they needed it. And uh, certainly the three sets they won, it was the tail end of the set that, uh, where they were really strong. Congratulations to Ferhat Akbas and his side. They just had that extra gear, as you said, and uh, they will at least get a silver, possibly gold, of course. That'll be a tasty old encounter with uh, Poland, another very strong side as well. And uh, whilst they celebrate, the crowd here will file out disappointed into the night, but they will have witnessed an epic contest between these two sides. Fabulous, fabulous volleyball. And uh, in the end, just wasn't enough for Azerbaijan. They lose the fifth set, 15-11, and uh, with it the match by three sets to two.